Hi love, welcome back. In today's class, you're making those a beautiful dress. If you're new to the channel, my name is Miss Ayi and you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you my love, thank you darling, thank you baby for always coming back. This is a part one of the video. Let's get right into class. To begin with, you are going to be making a magic ring and this is how I make my magic ring. And after you've made your magic ring, you are going to chain 3. Your chain 3 count as your first double crochet. So inside the same magic ring, you are going to place 5 more double crochets. So in total, you should have 6 double crochet, counting the chain 3. After your six double crochets, you are going to pull to close off the ring and we go, we move to row two. So row two, you are going to chain two and turn your wick. Inside the same stitch, you are going to place a double crochet. And now inside the next stitch, you are going to place two double crochets. One and two inside the third stitch you are going to place three double crochets all in the same stitch one two and three now inside the last two stitches remaining you are going to place two double crochets in each stitch This is the end of row 2, so row 3 you are going to chain 2 and you are going to turn your work. You are not going to make a double crochet in the same stitch, but in the next stitch you are going to place a double crochet. In the same stitch you are going to place add 3 more double crochets, so 4 double crochets in the same stitch. 3 and your last one 4. In the very next stitch, you are going to be making front post double crochet. So in the next stitch, you are going to make a front post double crochet. Now in the very next stitch after the front post double crochet, on top, you are going to make four double crochets in the same stitch. in the next stitch or on top in the next stitch you are going to make you're not going to work on top but you are going to make a front post double crochet in the next stitch you are going to make four double crochets so you are going to keep alternating between four double crochets in the same stitch and a front post double crochet in the next stitch so keep watching and doing this until the end of the row After your last four double crochets, in the very last stitch remaining, you are going to make your double crochet to complete it. Just as we started with a double crochet at the beginning, we will end with a double crochet. So this is what you should have. Now row four, you are going to chain two, turn your work. 
in the very next stitch you are going to make a double crochet so on top of those four double crochets we made previously you are going to place a double crochet inside each stitch so you would have four double crochets and four now with the front post double crochet we made previously we are going to be making back post double crochet inside that stitch so make back loop double crochet and that is it now inside the four stitches you are going to place four double crochets in it, four double crochets inside the next four stitches and when you get to the front post double crochet this time you are going to be making back post double crochet so there you go so you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row four double crochets inside each stitch and a back post double crochet and i'll meet you at the end of the row At the end of the row inside that last stitch so after you are done making your four double crochets remember to place a double crochet in that very last stitch and row five you are going to chain two turn your work and just as we did for row four you are going to be placing four double crochets in the four stitches two three four and now you are going to make your front post double crochet so when you are turning it will be back post but when you are working at the front panel it will be front post double crochet so you are going to keep doing this four double crochet and a front post double crochet four double crochet and a front post double crochet and this is our row five so you are going to keep alternating between the back post row and the front post row until you get to row eight and i'll meet you at row eight but i'll still walk you through so you can work your way out to row eight if you are making for a medium or big size bra cup then you work eight rows but if you're working for a small bra cup then please make seven rows so work until you get to row seven or row eight for the various cups and i'll meet you and we shall continue If you're making for a bra size cup small meet me on the eighth row and if you're making for a large let's meet on the ninth row is the same thing just that the eighth and the ninth will depend on whether it's facing the front or the back so now I'm on my eighth row so you're going to chain two in the very first stitch you place your double crochet in their next stitch you are going to place two double crochets in the same stitch in the third stitch you are going to place two double crochets again in the same stitch and in your fourth stitch you are going to place a double crochet so in total you should have six double crochets 
and counting the first double crochet then you should have seven now you are going to make your back post double crochet and now in the very first stitch you are going to place a double crochet in your second stitch you are going to place two double crochets in the same stitch in the third stitch you are going to place two double crochets in the same stitch and in the last stitch you are going to place a double crochet so we are increasing two two in each and we would be having six double crochet make your back post or front post double crochet depending on where your work is facing and in the very first stitch again you make your double crochet in the next stitch you make two double crochets place two double crochets in the next the following stitch and a double crochet in the last stitch so you are going to keep alternating this until the end of the row at the end of the row don't forget to place your last double crochet in that very last stitch so the ends the ends would be seven seven when you are counting the two double crochets and the middle would be six six so at the end of the row you are going to chain two and turn your work and now you are going to place double crochets in the following six stitches so that's one two three four five and six and now you are going to make your front post double crochet or back post double crochet depending where your work is facing you are going to make six double crochets in the next segment and you are going to make your front post double crochet and you are going to keep repeating this until you get to row 13 so keep alternating your back post and your front post double crochet just as we did from row four just placing four double crochets and making alternating between your front and your back post double crochet this time we are only placing a six double crochets and we are going to be alternating the same way so keep making this and you are going to make two the same bra cap after you, you are done with this one 13 rows from the bottom you are going to repeat the next bra cap with the same amount of um, chains and the same as we did for this bra cap so start with your magic ring and make six double crochets or chain three count as a double crochet and place five more double crochets and keep building your normal and increase rows until you get to row 13 so i'll meet you when i'm at row 13 and i have my two bra caps completed and we shall connect and start our work so this is my two bra cap um, completed and this is my row 13 and this is what the work should be looking like now we are going to be connecting our bra together so connecting you are going to chain one and you are going to connect to the other side with a slip stitch so insert your hook in the other side of the bra cap on top and make a chain one now you are going to turn your work to the wrong side and inside we are going to be working slip stitches in rows so you have to just watch carefully so we have 13 rows and anytime i say we are making two slip stitches we are making it in the rows so after you chain one you slip stitch two times in the row to your other bra cup now you are going to make a double crochet in the chain space so the chain one space from previous you are going to make a double crochet so it's advisable to place your double crochet inside the stitch so you can see i placed it on top of the stitch but please when you're making yours place it inside the stitch and after that you are going to make two slip stitches inside the other side of the row now you are going to turn your work and you are going to make a double crochet inside the double crochet we made so you are going to make two double crochets inside the same stitch 
should have like your work should be looking like this and we are going to slip stitch again two times in the body of our cup there you go so slip stitch two times and we are slip stitching it in rows so watch carefully and don't put slip stitch two slip stitch in the same row it should be in a separate row so now we have two double crochets in the middle right so when you turn your work you are going to prepare for a double crochet in the first stitch and you are going to chain one and place a double crochet in the next stitch so the chain one count as though it's a stitch making it three right but it's not a, a stitch so you are going to place you are going to slip stitch two times inside your body of the cup and turn your work again so now we have a double crochet chain one and a double crochet previously now to the next inside the chain one space we are going to be making a double crochet and we are going to chain one two and inside the same stitch we are going to make a double crochet I hope you are getting it now so it's let's assume this is four stitches and we are going to slip two times slip stitch two times inside the body of the cup and turn your work again now we had previously a double crochet chain two and a double crochet so inside the chain two space we are going to make a double crochet and then we are going to chain two and a double crochet so we are not going to um the previous row is the same as this one and you are going to slip stitch two times but if you are making for a size large um don't make it the same just make a double two double crochets chain two and two double crochets but if you are making for a medium this is perfect now we have a double crochet chain two and a double crochet so inside the chain two space we are going to make a double crochet chain three and a double crochet so this is what your work should be looking like and now you are going to slip stitch two times to the borders of the cup you are going to turn your work and inside the chain three space you are going to make two double crochets one and two two double crochets chain one and two double crochets in the same stitch if you are making for a bra cap large make sure you chain two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and you are going to slip stitch two times to the body of your work you are going to turn your work again inside the chain one space or inside the chain two space for a large cup you are going to make two double crochets inside the chain one space chain one again and two double crochets if you are making for a bra large make sure you make you, you make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and now you slip stitch it two times again to the body of your cup turn your work again and inside the chain one or chain two space depending on what you have you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets if you are making for a large make sure you chain two double you make two double crochets chain three and two double crochets and you are going to slip stitch it to the body of your cup and now you turn it and we are going to go our last row so inside the chain two space you are going to make two double crochets and you are going to chain two and two double crochets if you are making for a bra size large make sure you do two double crochets chain three and two double crochets and now this is our last space to slip stitch so you are going to slip stitch two times and it's bring us to the end of the work so there's no more rows to um slip stitch so you turn your work and you are going to change you are going to make 
six chains and inside the chain two space you are going to make a single crochet and you are going to chain six again and inside that very last stitch you are going to make your two slip stitches and you are going to chain one cut and fasten your work so we are done attaching the bra cup if you didn't understand anything my love my darlings my baby just go back and watch the video this is an in-depth tutorial so now let's move to um, the size of our work so with the size of our work you are going to make a slip knot and attach your yarn at one corner or one side of your work um, your work should be facing your the the wrong side should be facing you and you are going to make a chain of 17 if you are making for a size medium and 19 chains if you are making for a size large so i'm just trying to fasten off my yarn so i wouldn't have a lot to deal with so just attach your work i'm going to cut it and now you are going to make 17 chains for size medium small to medium and 19 chains for a size large so after your chains you are going to skip two and in the third stitch you are going to make a double crochet in the same place you are going to place another double crochet chain two and two double crochets in the same space now you are going to skip two and in the third stitch you are going to place two double crochets in the same stitch one and two you are going to chain two and two double crochets in the same stitch you are going to skip two you are going to skip two again and in the third stitch you are going to place two double crochets chain two two double crochets so you are going to keep repeating this until you get to the end of your chain space and i shall meet you there chain two and place two double crochets in the same stitch now inside the very last stitch you are not going to skip and inside the very last st stitch you are going to place a double crochet and this is what your work should be looking like now you are going to slip stitch two times inside the body or the bodice of our cup and you are going to turn your work you are going to yarn over in the first double crochet space you are going to place one double crochet so make a double crochet inside the double crochet stitch there you go and now inside the chain two space you are going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets chain two and two double crochets So this is row two inside the next inside the next chain two space you are going to work two double crochets chain two and two double crochets you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row and I'd, I'll meet you at the end of the row
at the end of the row you are going to place your last double crochet inside that first chain 2 space and there you go you should be having like something like this now row 3 you are going to chain 3 turn your work inside the chain 2 space you are going to place 2 double crochets chain 2 and 2 double crochets 2 double crochets chain 2 and 2 double crochets inside the next chain 2 space you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row at the end of the row inside the double crochet space right before the bodice you are going to place a double crochet and you are going to slip stitch two times so this is row three you are going to slip stitch two times and turn your work to complete your row three sorry to start off your row four so work your row four and five and i'll meet you when you are going to your row six and we shall do something quite different So this is the end of my row 5 and in this first, the last double crochet space we are going to place 2 double crochets and we are going to slip stitch 2 times, turn your work and now we work our row 6. So row 6 we are going to start off by making 2 double crochets in the very first stitch so one and two in the same space you are going to place another double crochet so we've started increasing now in the next stitch you are going to make a double crochet and now in the chain two space we are going to be making two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so we are going to keep repeating this is row six till the end of the row now i've worked my row seven to the end so inside the three double crochets you are placed double crochet in the first stitch double crochet in the second stitch and two double crochets in the third stitch and you are going to slip stitch two times turn your work inside the very first double crochet you are going to place two double crochets and the same stitch one and two now you are going to skip two stitches one two and inside the third stitch we are going to be making a cluster again so in the third stitch you are going to be making two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and two double crochets all inside the same stitch now inside the chain two space we are going to keep repeating two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and we always end with a double crochet and chain three and turn our work so keep doing this until the end of the row and i shall meet you at the end of the row so at the end of the row we've come to the end and there's nothing to work down our pattern is aligning and so we are going to chain one cut and fasten your yarn and you are going to repeat the same for the other side of your bra and i shall meet you when i'm done with the other side as well so i'm done with the other side and this is what your work should be looking like and now we are going to be working starting we are going to start with our main work so you are going to attach your yarn at the corner 
of your work with a slip stitch and you are going to chain three so we are working on the sides like of our work so in the first chain two space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets you are going to chain five one two three four five and you are going to skip the middle cluster and in the next cluster you are going to make a double crochet chain five and a double crochet in the same stitch and a double crochet there you go chain five again skip the next cluster and in the following you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so we are alternating between a cluster and a double crochet chain five and a double crochet there you go now you are going to chain five again skip the next cluster and make a double crochet chain five and a double crochet there you go now it brings us to the bottom of our bra cap so we are going to place our next one inside the middle of or the bottom of our bra cap where we started from so make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so you can decide to split this to cover the bottom of the cap now you are going to chain five again and inside the single crochet space you are going to make a double crochet chain five and a double crochet so the single crochet in the middle that's where we are going to make this and now you are going to chain five again and at the base of our bra cap our second bra cap we are going to be making two double crochets chain two two double crochets sorry two double crochets one two chain two and two double crochets one two and you are going to chain five again and you are going to keep alternating between two double crochets chain two and the double crochet chain five and double crochet just as we did for this side so in the very first stitch you are going to place a double crochet chain five and a double crochet and you are going to keep repeating this alternating this until the end of the row now chain five again skip the stitch or skip a cluster and keep making this until the end at the end of the row you are going to make a double crochet in your last stitch and chain three turn your work inside the chain two space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so this is row two and two double crochets now you are going to chain three instead of the chain five we are going to chain three one two three and we are going to prepare for a treble crochet so we are going to make three incomplete treble crochet or three treble crochet cluster in this chain five space so this is one two and three and now you pull through the four loops on your hook and that is it so this is one treble cluster you are going to chain three sorry you are going to chain five and make your second treble cluster so that's three trebles makes a cluster and pull through all four loops chain five again and make your third treble cluster so we are making four treble cluster in the chain five space so we are done with two and then we complete our last two 
and three so this is our third treble cluster chain five again and make your last treble cluster all in the chain five space so this is one two and three so after the three you pull through the four loops on your hook and this is our four treble cluster with a chain five in the middle so we are going to chain three again and inside the chain two space we are going to be working two double crochets chain two and two double crochets now wherever you see the chain five you work your treble cluster four times inside the stitch and wherever you see the chain two um two double crochets chain two two double crochets you repeat the same so now you're going to chain three again and make your four treble cluster sorry is four treble cluster just as we did for this side so you are going to keep alternating this until the end of the row and in the middle is always going to be three chains but inside the treble cluster we are going to chain five so you make a treble cluster chain five treble cluster until you have treble four treble clusters and you chain three and make two double crochets chain two two double crochets so keep repeating this whilst watching the video until the end of the row two So at the end of row two this is what your work should be looking like sorry i lost a footage of row three but i'm going to walk you through how to make row three because it's just a repetition row so keep working your row two until the end of the row and as i said again i lost footage for row three but row one two three and four is going to be a repetition row so i'm going to use um, the other side of the row to guide you on how to make the row three but row three is not a big deal it's not a difficult row so let me show you how to make the row three so you can see i've worked more rows before realizing so now you start by making your chain three and make two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the chain two space now you are going to chain three let's say this is your row three right so you are going to chain three and inside the chain five space of your cluster so you can see i'm done with row three and row four exactly so i'm just going to show you so you can work your own and we shall resume and i'll take you um through row four right so you are going to chain three inside the chain five space you are going to make two single crochets so that is one and two you are going to chain three again and place two single crochets in the next chain five space chain three again place two single crochets in the last chain five space now chain three one two three and inside the chain two space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets chain two and two double crochets all in the same stitch you are going to chain three again and inside the chain five space you are going to make two single crochets chain three make two single crochets in the next chain five space chain three make two single crochets in the next chain five space chain three and make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets till the end of the row so at the end of your row three you are going to chain three and turn your work so now let's work row four 
so row four you are going to start with two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in the same stitch now you are going to chain three sorry you are going to chain four and inside the chain three space you are going to make two single crochets you are going to chain three again inside the next chain three space you are going to make two single crochets you are going to chain four and inside the chain two space you are going to place two double crochets chain two two double crochets and you are going to just keep repeating this until the end of the row so the connecting chain is four four exactly so now chain four inside the chain three space you are going to place two single crochets chain three place two single crochets in the next stitch chain four and make your three double crochets chain two and three double crochets so at the end of the row row four so you are going to chain three and ten so now row five you are going to begin row five with two double crochets inside the chain two space so two double crochets chain two and two double crochets all in the same stitch one two you are going to chain three sorry you are going to chain four and inside the chain three space so you realize it's only left with one chain three space so you are going to place a double crochet chain five and a double crochet there you go now you are going to just as we did for row one this is a repetition row of row one so chain four make three double sorry two double crochets chain two two double crochets in that space the chain two space so we are going to after row four row five is a repetition of row one two three four so row one two three four is a repetition row so we are making this row five is exactly as row one so make double crochet chain five and double crochet until the end of the row so at the end of the row you are going to chain three turn your work so this is row six row six is the same as row two row six is the same as row two and that is our treble crochet row so make inside the chain two space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets you are going to chain three and you are going to make your treble clusters so three trebles so make three incomplete trebles one two and three and now pull through all four loops and chain five make your second treble cluster make your third and fourth again row six is the same as row two so row one two three four is a repetition row so row six is the same as row two so just watch carefully and repeat until the end of the row and i shall meet you at the end of row six
so at the end of row six you are going to chain three chain three and turn your wig now row seven is the same as row three so in the beginning um, the chain two space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets now you are going to chain four and inside the chain five space so row five I'm sorry row seven again is the same as row three row seven is the same as row three so as you can see I'm using the I use the row seven footage to show you how to make the row three right so it's the same thing row seven is the same as row three so make your single two single crochets in the chain five space chain three make two single crochet in the chain five space chain three and make two single crochet in your last chain five space now you're going to chain four and inside the chain two space you're going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets And you are going to chain four again and make two single crochets in the chain five space chain three make two single crochets in the chain five space and you are going to keep repeating this until the end of row seven which is the same as row three so at the end of row seven you are going to chain three and turn your work now row eight is the same as row four so in the chain two space you are going to make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets now you are going to chain three or four and inside the chain three space you are going to make two single crochets chain three and make two single crochets and chain four and make two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so you are going to repeat row eight is the same as row four so keep repeating this until the end of the row and i shall meet you at the end of row eight So I shall meet you at the end of row eight. So keep repeating this. And so at the end of row eight, now we are going to be doing something different. So row nine, we are going to be joining our work. And this is what your work should be looking like. And I know you've had enough of it. So we are going to end the part one here and we shall continue the part two in our second video. But before we end the part one, let's join our work and you would see how the work is going to turn out. So to join your work, you are going to this is how the work is looking like or this is how your work should be looking like now after your row eight so this and now we are going to chain one two three four five six and we are going to seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and after our thirteen chains we are going to connect it to the other side on top of the double crochet and we are going to cut and fasten our work if you didn't understand anything please go back and watch before we start the part two of the video until i meet you in the part two is bye bye for now have a beautiful day